for the welfare of society and the just government of the people. That is the opening line of a prayer traditionally recited in this august house, stating clearly that whatever transacted here is for the welfare of the society and the just government of the people. Communication from the chair. However, fears are emerging that it could be on the contrary. Sources say there could be a possibility of tampering or corrupting what members say on the floor and what is available online, which passes as digital Hansard record. This is what Jubilee-nominated Member of Parliament David Sankok said on 20th November 2018 on the floor. But then, if it is for the slay queens to slay their way into the National Assembly, <laughs> to massage their way into the Senate, and slay their way into county assembly, honorable speaker, then I do not, I do have some reservation. However, this is what is available on YouTube, which skips from 29 minutes past 5 p.m. to 34 minutes past 5 p.m. At least five minutes on the proceedings that evening have been removed. Take a look. Mr. Speaker, this trans parliament, I can see the men and women. When I look at the faces, Mr. Speaker, I can see the mood of how we'll have a representation of, of, uh, out of, order. of women out who are youth should have the member, the member, the member will be heard in silence. Honorable Speaker, protect me. It has been established the same was uploaded within the precincts of parliament according to the IP address on the link. When contacted, nominated member of parliament David Sankok has denied any involvement, saying, and I quote, I'm not aware and it is illegal to omit any part of my contribution because Kenyans must judge me based on what I stand for. End of quote. So who ordered the editing and who did it? When contacted on Friday afternoon, National Assembly clerk Michael Cialai gave an undertaking of carrying out investigations before responding accordingly. Duncan Hamber, KTN News.